in the high-level segment of the United Nations Climate Conference, COP27, St. Kitts and Nevis's Minister of Environment and Climate Action, Dr. Joyal Clark, called for moves towards climate justice and for the observer inclusion of the Republic of China on Taiwan. Minister Clark spoke to the fragility of small island developing states and the need for a change in outlook of economic classification, saying there cannot be any action without addressing climate justice. The severity of loss and damage is traumatic. What then is the game changer? There is no action without addressing climate justice, which embraces climate finance, a perennial challenge of SIDS. We must start by acknowledging the vast differences in the economies of scale and fiscal inability to respond to such climate events, as well as the problems of classifications as a middle-income country based solely on GDP. In St. Kitts and Nevis, we have embarked on a journey of green possibilities. Our goal is to become a sustainable island state. Our energies are currently focused on harnessing geothermal energy. Our 39-year-old friendship with the Republic of China, Taiwan, has supported our renewable energy pathway. Together, we have produced 2.5 megawatts of renewable energy for our citizens. Taiwan has partnered with many countries to reduce emissions. We here proclaim that COP27 is one of action and implementation and has been branded together for implementation. Mr. President, St. Kitts and Nevis highly recommends that the Republic of China, Taiwan become observers. Your serious consideration will be highly appreciated. CARICOM member countries, as well as other small island developing states of the Pacific Ocean, are at COP27 in Egypt advocating for climate justice. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.